Hi, I'm Kathy with Level Up RN. In this video, we will be discussing bisphosphonates. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little quiz to test your understanding of some of the key facts from the video. So be sure to stay for that. And if you have our Level Up RN pharmacology flashcards, go ahead and pull out your flashcard on bisphosphonates so you can follow along with me and pay close attention to the bold red text on the back of the card because those are the things that you are likely to get tested on. Bisphosphonates are a group of medications used to treat osteoporosis, which is a condition characterized by low bone density and an increased risk of fractures. Medications in this drug class are also used to treat Paget's disease, which is a bone disorder that causes abnormal bone growth and weak bones. A key medication in this drug class, and one you definitely have to know for nursing school, is Alendronate, which is brand name Fosamax. Of note, most of the other medications in this drug class also end in dronate. In terms of mode of action, bisphosphonates work by inhibiting osteoclast activity. So osteoclasts are the cells that break down bone tissue and resorb it, whereas osteoblasts are the cells that form new bone tissue. So by inhibiting osteoclast activity, bisphosphonates prevent the breakdown and resorption of bone tissue. And this in turn, increases bone density, and decreases the risk of fractures. Key adverse effects of bisphosphonates include upper gastrointestinal issues such as esophagitis, which is inflammation of the esophagus, as well as heartburn, abdominal pain, and nausea. Bisphosphonates can also cause bone, joint, and muscle pain. Our cool chicken hint to help you remember that alendronate causes esophagitis is to think Alan drones on and on about how alendronate gave him esophagitis. During therapy with a bisphosphonate, the patient's bone density should be monitored in order to evaluate treatment effectiveness. In addition, patient teaching is super important for this medication, so let's go through those teaching points now. First of all, you should advise your patient to take this medication first thing in the morning on an empty stomach with a full glass of water. Then they should wait at least 30 minutes before eating, drinking, or taking other medications. You should also advise your patient to sit upright or ambulate for at least 30 minutes after taking a bisphosphonate in order to prevent esophageal irritation and ulceration. If the patient were to lie down right after taking their medication, the medication can reflux into the esophagus and cause damage. One way to remember this is after you take your alendronate, you can go outside and fly your drone for 30 minutes, making sure, of course, that you are sitting up or standing up while you're flying your drone. It's also important that your patient have an adequate intake of calcium and vitamin D and take any supplements as ordered by their provider. And then lastly, you want to emphasize the importance of weight-bearing exercise to stimulate bone formation and improve bone density. All right, it's quiz time and I have three questions for you. Question number one, what is the mode of action of bisphosphonates? The answer is they inhibit osteoclast activity. Question number two, when should alendronate be taken? The answer is first thing in the morning on an empty stomach with a full glass of water. And question number three, why should a patient avoid lying down after taking alendronate? The answer is to avoid irritation and ulceration of the esophagus. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If so, be sure to hit that like button. Take care and good luck with study. So let's go through those Do you be -de -be -de -be. We invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. And if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and let us know what you found to be particularly helpful.